Sarbananda Sonowal, Union Minister of Ports, Shipping, or Waterways, Aji, Nagle Naga Government, Lode Ekta Stakeholders Conference, Lushi, Night to Resort, Chumugiri Made. Program de Kotagria Hamoi, Sonowal Bra Doyang Laga Nudi, Center, or State Government Laga Special Attention, Lagia Segushe. Naglende Waterways Karine, Flakwa Nudi Kande, Survey Laga Time, Ekta Taibo Goshe. Naglen Laga Chief Minister, Nipiriobi, Kotagrushe, Arogoshe, Naglen Tuniase, Holibi, political issues can unresolved Tagichani Mede, Karib Asegushe. Program day stakeholders Kunbabi, Park Lushe. I be Dulaga details so. bodies which uh, we would like to request the government of India for construction and for allowing the uh, boat house concept uh, this will not only you know like uh, uplift the e local economy but it'll be uh, tourism boost scenic beauty water activities and eco-friendly lodging sir uh, Apart from this uh, Tizu Zunki project, we, ha we do have Doyang. That is one of the largest water reservoirs in the Northeast, which contains about approximately, approximately 2,600 hectares, covering 17 villages. And this particular Doyang, uh, Venice City, uh, there is world Amor Falcon capital. It has been, you know, like uh, already declared as the capital for Amar Falcon. And this is uh, a very hot spot for the tourists. And every year, you know, hundreds of tourists do come for bird watching and also uh, do the tourist activities in this Venice city. Apart from this, we also we do have uh, you know water bodies at Nune Resort, which is about 10 kilometers from uh, you know from uh, at, uh, what do you call from this very place where we are sitting, and we do have Shiloi Lake that is uh, in Thai area that is also bordering to uh, Myanmar, and we sir we also have this Kacharikin Pond, uh, which is lies in the Mapo district. And the Insonji Lake, which is you know uh, a natural water body situated at the uh, Tsemingu district. So uh, these are the projects that we would also like to approach the government of India. And sir, if it will, the proposal comes, we would like to request you to kindly uh, in, look into the matter and grant us uh, the, 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 the uh, sufficient for the same. You are coming here as a national leader to give the facilities for that inland waterways, which was not uh, imagined by us. And you know very well our Northeast people, the Nagas especially, once we spoken out, we really wanted to have the project. So since we have come here, definitely you are going to deliver us with the help of our state uh, chief minister, Sri Nivaryu and his government, we want to have this project. And then the, the, the definitely we'll see that the project is implemented as per the satisfaction of the ministry. Sir, the project which is coming up in Zengi, Tansuri, and Tuyang. For this to have a practically visible and the border two of, between the two of our state, we need a good connectivity of road the infrastructures. Unless we have the good road connectivity, to have the project, again, the, 
the practical and the technical problems will start. So I'd like to request Honorable Minister, if you can kindly take care of that problems, which that is definitely going to place it to your kind of authority. I think if you look at everything, especially to the officers and the bureaucrats of the government of India and the waterways ministry, I always have a small complaint, which I always share. You know, one suit fitting everybody. Our Nagaland is a very small state. And whenever we sit down, Honorable Chief Minister and Honorable Deputy Chief Ministers and all of us, we always talk about our people and the way forward for development and how the very small population of our state can be prosperous in every way by having the right developmental activities with the trust of the government of India and its programs and central sponsored schemes in our state of Nagaland. Today, if you go to this Zinki area and look for all the population around, you may not get it. And it may be less in the criteria of the things that you see. But I hope that we look for one step ahead before the things come to pass. And that is a very prospective uh, waterway that can be developed to the advantage, not only for the Nagas, but to the advantage of the growing India towards Vixit Bharat and towards getting our inroads to Mandalay and elsewhere. So I think that is how we would like the ministry to look at our project of Nagaland. The Ministry of Boat, Shipping and Waterways, Government of India has taken commendable strides in advancing our inland waterways ecosystems. This conference is an opportunity to reflect on our progress, share insights, and chart a course of future development. The Northeast region with its vast network of rivers offers a unique chance to enhance trade, tourism, and connectivities. By development, developing multimodal terminals, intermodal terminals, fairways, tourist duties, and community duties, we can transform this our Northeast region into a thriving hub of economic activities. Since 2014, when Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has taken over the responsibility of the Prime Ministers in the country, he made his vision very clear for the people of the country. <clears throat> that we have sufficient resources in the country. Our demography, our democracy, our diversity, these are the most important basis of our resources. With this strength, we'll have to speed up our growth by undertaking most modern approach, bringing perfect policy in the right place, followed by program and quality implementation. So that is why you have seen the speedy growth of the country. From 11 position, only in the last 10 years, how India could jump to the position of fifth largest economy in the world. It is because of the able leadership, honest leadership, dedicated leadership, hardworking leadership, visionary leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And Honorable Prime Ministers, after going through the detailed observation, assessment, and study and research, discovered that one of the most potential zone of the country is neglected for the last so many decades, that is Northeast India. And he has taken a palm view and given clear direction to all the ministers 
of the government of India, all the officials, all the concerned stakeholders, that Northeast is the most potential zone of the country. It is the astalasmi. Without the growth of Northeast, India cannot grow. So that is why he has declared this is the new engine for India's growth. Now, Northeast is not only known to the people of the country, but known to the people of the world. And this particular handloom, isn't it? This product, such a world class product. I was just telling Honorable Chief Minister, and he was telling me that now in the global market, it is very, very highly acceptable. Whatever available water bodies are here in Nagaland, and out of the 111 declared national waterways, one of the most potential national waterways is Tiju Junki. Tiju Junki. This is 101, National Waterways number 101. Now it is, according to our officers, they have saying that even uh, about years back, Honorable Ship Minister Ryoji went to Delhi and he had also submitted a proposal. And he requested me to immediately take up a very, very strong initiative so that, like, you know, the movement of the cargo vessel, passenger vessel, cruise vessel may be possible. So, and today I am also informed that Doyang Lake, one of the most beautiful lake in the entire North East, and it is which is known to be the you know falcon capital of the world, huh? isn't it? So I believe the flora and fauna, whatever natural resources we have in this particular. Lack, I think it needs special attention from both of us, government of India, government of Nagaland. <laughs> so definitely we'll put our effort. And as you know, national waterways, earlier up to 2014, it was confined to only five. The cargo handling capacity was confined to only 30 million metric ton per annum. But Honorable Prime Minister, he has directed the concerned ministries and also the expert, domain expert, please do the research and study properly and bring out the most feasible report to me after going through techno-economic feasibility report. This has been submitted and with the National Waterways Act 2016, accordingly 111 altogether National Waterways has been recognized in the country. I had the privilege of having being a friend to our Honorable Prime Minister Moniji. Three terms as Chief Minister, we work together, we attend meetings together, we travel abroad together, and we shared a good friendship. His vision and his works is tremendous. And that's how, as already explained by Sonawalji, how our economic and other developmental activities has pushed up to the present stage. The country, the world, our standard have been brought up to, from bottom to middle, to the forefront among the top 10. And we listed today as fifth economic power in the world. We are targeting for third. And over and above, Prime Minister Modiji's vision 
to be called as a developed country by 2014, I have 47. So that vision, and that's why he made a statement, look his policy into act his policy. And as mentioned by our Minister Shipping, Sanawalji, the cabinet, senior cabinet, who are doing performing well, were giving the same portfolios because the initiatives and the work that has begun, it has to be completed. We can call Modiji as a young man in hurry, but now an old man in hurry to achieve that goal. 2047, and we are a part and parcel of that. If we are not awake and grabbed the vision and become a part and partial, a participant and a contributor to this goal, we'll be left behind. Therefore, his coming here is a wake up call for the state of Nagaland. we are still having that mind of government job. Government support. There is no industry. There is no big entrepreneurship. There are no factories. And few only made in Nagaland. Only depending on the government. Government can do 10% and the private sector, they have to give contribution of 90%. It depends on the people because of the growth of economy, paying tax to the government, the taxpayers' money is used to make a robust economy. And therefore, fortunately, unfortunately, Nagaland, we are privileged people, we are tribals. We don't pay income tax, wealth tax, property tax. We are free from all this burden. We know only how to receive, but we don't know how to give. And that's why, even this time, your ports, shipping, and waterway. These are new things to us. We have to come out from our comfort zone and go beyond. So that these new ventures, we have to fully participate and take the benefit. Unless the participations come from the people themselves, the department alone cannot do anything. There is a saying, God Almighty, who did everything, and there is nothing he cannot do. But there's a saying that God can do everything, anything, but he don't do it alone. Whatever he does, he does with human beings. So you have to take part. And that where things come. Thou shalt eat from the Sweat of thy bros. Through your sweat, through your hard work, you will eat. And also, you are talking about other rivers. Diku River, historically, by raft, indigenous method, or by Doyang, lower section. It, can, it is navigable. And that, you see, this side of the water river that is flowing, it is a rich mineral belt, oil deposit, oil and gas, then your coal, 
mountains and mountains, and then your stone, which is in high demand. It is now going up to Assam and to Bangladesh by rail. And fortunately, Nagaland is a hill state. But we have the, out of eight, 16 districts, eight districts has plain area. From Mon, Mon to Longland, Longland to Mokokchun, Mokokchun to Wokha, Wokha to Newland, Newland to Dimapur, Dimapur to Chumogadima, Chumogadima to Peren. Therefore, we are talking about foothill road. And all these are foothill, plain areas. It is a huge plain area in eight districts. This is a manorail belt. That's why we want Nagaland Expressway. And we had also proposed, and in 2000, 13, railway on this line is approved by the railway board. But because we could not do our foothill road, the villagers are not willing to part for the railway. First, you make the road, then we give land for the railway track. And that's where we got stuck up. Nagaland is rich, but because of our Naga political issue, on resolve issue, we are rich, but we remain poor. Why? Because we did not explore, exploit our resources. And even coming to waterways, we have many water bodies, and we have to create more water bodies. Select your Dansari River going through Dimapur town, your Chathe River going down. All these are tributaries of Bahamapuru. And in a town like this, my good sir, we need a dam to create a water body along the river so that boating and transport why traffic should get a jam on the street? There should be waterway along the river creating a dam. Particularly Dansari, a long stretch can be a water body. You develop the bank and it will become beautification. All these are eco-friendly and eco-tourism. And a lot of employment and it will boom. We have the human capital. We're an educated society. IDCV. These resources has to be utilized. And as mentioned, maritime college and maritime workers has to be created. A lot of jobs will come. And therefore, in the Northeast, if such come, our boys and girls are, had gone out to work, any kind of works. But when you are skilled, when you are trained, you will get better job, you will be paid handsomely. And that's why our beloved Sunawalji, Minister for Ports, Shipping and Waterway, has come to us. We are the stakeholders. Why he should come here and have a meeting with us? That means he wants our involvement and participation. If we don't do anything, ministry cannot do anything for us. We have to fully participate. And why Prime Minister is giving the same portfolios to few senior ministers very important departments because Prime Minister knows he has a vision, he wants consistency. 
who are having innovation and consistency and the right vision to go forward. Every minister who is holding special responsibilities, they will boom economy, development, and build the nation. And therefore, he cared for the Northeast. As mentioned, Assam is the mother state of all the Northeastern state. He is a neighbor, he is a brother, he is a friend. So his commitment, for his commitment, he has come to us. We appreciate him and the department was supporting his vision. For the state government, me and my colleagues, we will try to convince our youth to fully participate, the st stakeholders to give support and cooperation. We are here to develop the waterways for the uh, kind of seamless movement of our vessel, cargo vessel, passenger vessel, and also the cruise vessel. So Nagalen, along with the other state of Northeast, highly potentially powerful state in terms of national waterways and also the water bodies. So there are many spots where we could develop it. And we have also 101 uh, national waterways that is linking with the uh, Myanmar also to the Bay of Bengal. So this kind of, you know, resourceful waterways is there. And also we have the Doyang Lake, one of the most beautiful lake in the entire region, which is known to be the Falcon capital yes, of, of the, the world. world. Yeah. So these are the flora and fauna available in this state. And considering oh. all these available resources, Ministry of Port Shipping Waterways under the direction of Honorable Prime Ministers. We are taking a lot of initiative in the entire region to give access to the, you know, the stakeholders, importer, exporter, and also tours and travel operators to draw the attention of the uh, uh, like uh, nation as well as globe for kind of better connectivity better communication and also for the promotion of cruise tourism. So I believe in this regard, we'll take a lot of initiative along with the other state in the state of Nagaland also. Honorable Chief Minister Yoji is also extending his full support to the Ministry of Port Shipping Waterways. And I hope that as in the last 10 years, whatever initiative we have taken, this was never before during the UPA regime this has never been initiated, but Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, who loves the entire Northeast, and also he put his best possible effort for the speedy growth of the entire region. That is why, along with the other ministry, he has directed our ministry also to take adequate measures on this spot so that like um, this can facilitate the people of the Northeast as well as people of Nagaland for their speedy growth. Sir, sir, will there be any time frame for the survey? Of course, we'll have time frame because once we undertake the project, within a time frame, it will be completed so that we can give full facility to the people.